All right, we're going to look at what we call the cascading order of CSS and also introduce the available spots within an HTML document that you're allowed to add CSS. So let's take a look at what we call the cascading order. Now, in a typical CSS um, manner, you're allowed to add CSS to a HTML document in one of three spots. The first being external. External means that it's a completely separate file and that an external style sheet ends with the .css file extension. So just like our HTML pages end in .html, I would create a new file and give that a .css extension. Again, uh, the file extension is just CSS, but it's just plain text. So you're able to edit and create CSS files in any program that can create text. The second option here is called the on-page CSS, and we have to use the HTML style tags, and then we can write CSS directly inside of the style tags. Those are typically done inside of the head section of the website, so up in that metadata section. The third is called inline styles, and inline style sheets are added directly to the individual tags on an HTML page via the HTML attribute style. And it's a little bit difficult to maybe understand these right now, so we're going to look at a quick overview of each of these different methods following this slide. Now the important thing to know here is what we call, uh, or at least what I refer to as the cascading order of CSS. The cascading order states that inline CSS overrides on-page CSS, which in turn overrides external CSS. So in other words, inline trumps on-page and on-page trumps external. Now this is in the case that you have two CSS rules which conflict. So for example, let's say that I have an inline CSS rule that's turning the color of my paragraph red. And I also happen to have an external CSS rule which says that the color of the paragraph should be blue. So the question is, we have a conflict, who's gonna win out? Which, which of these are gonna actually override the other one? And according to cascading order, inline would trump, so the paragraph would be red. It does get a, quite a bit more complicated than that when we start talking about the idea of specificity, but we'll get to that in a later video tutorial.